going on everybody so the super bowl is coming up and during the super bowl one of my favorite snack foods are buffalo chicken bites you know the boneless chicken chunks it's my favorite thing to eat um and so today we're going to go over a more healthy alternative of that we're going to use cauliflower and make cauliflower buffalo bites um they're still really good really delicious you can get a nice crispy skin on it and i actually you know they really i really enjoy them and they're a lot healthier for you than deep fried chicken chunks so what we got here to make all this, this is all we're going to need is some cauliflower, we're going to use a little bit of eggs, some parsley, some butter, some franks, it's the original hot sauce. I picked up some cayenne, some paprika, of course you got to have salt, and pepper, garlic, and some of this franks red hot seasoning that I haven't actually used it really, my sister has, I haven't, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the mix as well. And just a little bit of flour. All right, so here we've got our egg wash all ready to go for our cauliflower. We got some sharp parsley for a garnish. We have broken down our cauliflower into nice little floret sizes. You want them to be, you know, roughly the same size. For you want them to cook around, be done cooking around the same time. If you have really small ones, you can throw them in just fine, but they're going to cook a lot fat faster. It might overcook by the time the big ones are done. So roughly the same size. There's no real exact measurement here. We've also taken a half stick of butter and melted it into our Frank's uh, Red Hot Sauce, which we will use to toss our uh, cauliflower bites at the end. All right, so what I've got here is roughly a cup of flour in here. Um, I'm going to actually use water to make this uh, batter for the cauliflower. Um, usually you would use buttermilk, um, but we're trying to make it healthier. So we're going to use water, which will work just fine. So we're going to add in, we're going to put in a healthy amount of garlic because I love garlic and the flavor of garlic. I feel like there's almost, there's a fine line between a right amount of garlic and too much of garlic when it comes to me. This is some of that Buffalo Frank's uh, Red Hot seasoning we're gonna add in there. More than that. Then we're gonna put in some smoked paprika. Um, so I'm gonna use an air fryer when I make these cauliflower bites. But if you don't have access to an air fryer, an oven works just fine. Um, and better yet, you could even, if you have access to a smoker, I would almost even smoke them too. Um, that would also be really good. In fact, if I had a smoker, that's probably what I'd be doing right now, is using a smoker on these instead of the air fryer. An air fryer is an interesting piece of equipment, because um, in my 16 years of professional cooking experience, I <laughs> have never used an air fryer before until yesterday when I was first trying out this dish. Um, so I'm gonna add in a little cayenne. Um, when I was first trying out how to make this dish, it's the first time I ever used an air fryer before. So that was an interesting one. Um, I made some changes. This will be the second time I've been using the air fryer. Um, I made a few changes from what I made yesterday. So we're actually gonna do a little experiment today. I'm gonna do half of them with an egg wash, half without. See if we can get kind of a crispier skin. Also, I air fried them for 15 minutes on 375. I'm going to go ahead and air fry them today at 400. See if I can get more crisp out than what I got yesterday. Salt. Like if you think you're adding too much salt, you're not. You guys would probably be a little surprised by how much salt is added into food when it comes to restaurants. It is really, I would say, almost a gross amount of salt. Yeah. I can smell the paprika in there, but I can't smell any garlic. So we're gonna add some more garlic in there. Add some more of this sauce stuff, seasoning the buffalo. Of course, more salt. I'm telling you guys, you cannot go wrong when it comes to salt. It's the biggest mistake home cooks make is not adding enough salt. Just because I simply don't think they realize how much salt is added in to food on a professional level. Salt, what's great about salt though is it's like a flavor enhancer. So it doesn't necessarily just add salty flavor. What it can do is it can is accentuates other flavors in the dish. Um, I recommend going sea salt over kosher or anything. Sea salt just generally for me has a better overall taste um, and overall helps things become more accentuated better than using kosher or table or iodized salt. So we've got, like I said, we start off with about one cup 
a flour. We got about, I'm gonna guess two cups of water, but we're gonna put it in a cup first, mix it up, see if it is. Might need to add more water. Might, yeah, I can tell you right now. Mixing that up, it, it's gonna take another cup of water. Actually, it might even take more water than that. So right now I'm at two cups of water, one cup, actually that might do it, I think that'll do it. So right now I got one cup of flour and two cups of water. And that seems, oh yeah, that seems to be giving me a nice batter and I'll show you guys. Cause you want it, you want it to be able to stick and coat the outside of the cauliflower, but not be like clumpy and lumpy and not overcoat it. Actually I might add just a smidgen more water in there. I think I will. I'm gonna add another half cup of water. You don't want it too watery either, so you don't want the run run off and not coat very well at all. Yeah, that looks good. You guys can kind of see that. I'll pan over so you guys can see a little bit better. See, it's nice and it's got body, but it's not too watery. It's not too thick. It's just got a nice body in there. And man, that is pretty. That is pretty. Uh, you guys can smell this. It smells really good. All right, so here we are gonna egg wash these ones. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that whipped up eggs here, and we're just gonna brush the top of these cauliflower bites. And my hope is, from what I did yesterday, my hope is by adding this egg wash, I'll be able to kind of create a little bit more of a crispy skin than what I got yesterday. Um, Cause I want, I like that like nice kind of crunch you get from uh, chicken chunks. So we are going to hope, like I said, that adding this egg wash will help with that. You've also got another tray of these right here that you're not going to egg wash. We're going to put these in just like how I did yesterday, straight into the batter. So to batter these suckers up, flip out these trays here. Gotta have some good tunes when I'm doing this. All right, so we're just gonna take these in and we're just gonna dip them in. Oh yeah, they kind of just shake off some of that excess batter that's on them. Okay. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this to all of the cauliflowers, both the egg washed and the non-egg washed. All right, so we got our cauliflower bites in the air fryer. Our top ones are our egg wash, and our bottom ones are non-egg wash. So we're gonna put this sucker up in here. Yesterday I did these at 375. Today I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them at 400. And I think I'm gonna decrease the time and put them at 13 minutes. And we will see where we're at in 13 minutes from now. All right, so we've got our cauliflower bites out of the air fryer. So at 400. Um, actually, I think 13 minutes was the right one, um, the right time. So next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add our cauliflower bites into just our little uh, bowl of just that butter and hot sauce mix. Um, between the two, remember I said we were experimenting, one with egg wash, one without egg wash. Between the two, um, I believe, that the one with egg wash turned out a little bit better. The uh, skin's a little bit more crispy and has more of that like, kind of that crispy texture behind it. So I think if you're gonna do this at home, I think you should go with the egg wash. I think it's the, uh, it's the better way. So then we're gonna plate these suckers up. Of course, got the plating. So these ones right here that I'm plating up right now, these are the ones with egg wash. And do the same thing, just toss them around in some of that hot sauce and butter blend. And they, so one thing I think I learned with air fryers today is that I believe that the heat source of the air fryer comes from the top and blows down. So your top tray is gonna cook a little bit faster than your bottom tray. I don't know if that's all air fryers or just the one that I'm using today unless I don't have much experience with air fryers. And you could also, like I said, cooking alternatives at home, you could just traditionally fry it with this oil on the stove top. That's fine too, you could put them in the oven. If you put them in the oven, I'd put them on high, probably uh, 
425, maybe even 450 for like mm, probably 13 to 15 minutes, I think would work as well. Um, so if you have a smoker, I think just taking the cauliflower and smoking it would also be really good. With a little parsley on there for a little text to color, contrast to color. And here we are, our wonderful buffalo cauliflower bites. Man, these things do look delicious.